this video, I want to share with you some crazy simple DIYs that were very inexpensive yet look like they are really high end. I also want to share with you the photos that inspired these three projects as well as how you can put these together for yourself for less than five bucks. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Caitlin. If you're new here, I'd absolutely love it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you enjoy making DIYs and crafting projects because we do a lot of that here. And give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy today's projects. Before we get started, I do want to thank Top Cashback for sponsoring today's video. Top Cashback is an online website where you can go and receive money back just by shopping your favorite retailers online. They have over 4,000 retailers on topcashback.com, so you're sure to find your favorite stores. They have all of my favorite places that I go to get all the good deals like Target, Walmart, Dollar General, and Big Lots. Uh, so make sure that you do check there and see if they have your favorite stores. And then they also do have Dollar Tree on there, so it's so exciting getting on there. And just by shopping through their website and getting getting on Dollar Tree. You can literally earn money back on uh, purchases that you were already going to make just by shopping through them. So really quick, I want to show you how you can earn money back just from shopping online. So if you want to sign up for Top Cash Back, uh, go and use the link that's in my description directly under this video. But once you just get on the website, uh, you can easily browse around and see what retailers that they do have to offer. I shop Dollar Tree a ton to make all of my DIYs, so just to show you how to use this, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and then I hit get cash back and then the dollartree.com website pops up and you can't even tell a difference. Uh, you just went through the top cash back, but, but really nothing's even different. You just shop like normal to earn your cash back on every purchase. Um, for today's project, I'm going to be using a ton of these glass candlesticks, so this is something that I can get online and buy in bulk. And now Dollar Tree is offering these pick and pack purchases on select items so that you don't have to order a crazy amount of quantities. And uh, like the, on these candlesticks, you can order four, you can order eight, so uh, just in quantities of four and then the, you can get these shipped directly to your house. So on Top Cashback, there is no minimum payout, so no matter how much money that you are earning, you will get that money, and then they do offer higher rates than other competitors. You can also see that even on some of their fall decor, like these pumpkins, uh, there's a minimum of four purchase in these pick and pack, so I definitely, I definitely want four of these because this is something that I'll use in my DIY projects, and I know everyone can use these pumpkins, so these are one of my favorite things that Dollar Tree does put out for fall. But as you can see, it's just super simple, and then whenever you check out, and then you can get back on top cash back and then see how much money that you are earning. So you can sign up for Top Cash Back by clicking that link down below right under this video and earn money back just from purchases that you already are making online. I shop a ton online, so I know you probably do too. So it's just an easy, very simple way to get money back and rewards for online shopping. So thank you again to Top Cash Back for sponsoring today's video. And let's see how we use all of those glass candlesticks that we purchased off of DollarTree.com. For the first project, I'm using this little hexagon that I picked up at Dollar Tree. It's in this marble finish and it says family is forever in the gold. I'm going to turn it around and use the back side for this because I was worried that that uh, font was engraved in there and I didn't want to show through whenever I am painting. I have seen that some people are finding little wooden colorful beads from Dollar Tree so you definitely can feel free to use that if you can find them at your Dollar Tree. I haven't been able to find them so I am using this pack of uh, multicolor beads from a thrift store. This originally says $2.99 and I don't recognize the packaging but I ended up just paying 50 cents for it so I thought this would be a really great uh, project to use that on. So like I say, I am going to be using the back of this little hexagon. This originally was a little wall decor piece. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is moving the hanger from that as well as the back labels. So it kind of does have a little bit of rough edges and uh, the place where I took the screws out of. So I'm taking a piece of sandpaper and just smoothing everything out. As you can see where they applied uh, the front piece to this, it does have those little wood peels on there. So I ended up sanding all of those down just to make sure everything is really smooth whenever I am painting this. This pack of beads actually came in three different sizes and I'm going to be using the really large ones and this made it really simple for this project. I wanted these beads to act like little stands for this sign so whenever I do flip it over it will be like a little uh, pedestal or a little platform. So I did flip that over and kind of see how far I wanted the beads sticking out of it and then I was able just to turn it over and hot glue all of these down. to be yours. 
yours. And you take it After I got every one of the beads glued down and made sure that they weren't going anywhere, and made sure that it was really sturdy feeling. I'm going to be using some of my Waverly chalk paint in the white color and I'm going to give this a nice thick coat. I think I ended up doing two coats on this. It was a little tricky to get the paint around the beads at the bottom, but I ended up just flipping it over and then um, painting the entire bottom of this. This type of material that this sign is made out of does really soak up the paint, so you do have to do multiple coats. And then the beads do have like a shiny layer on them so they didn't take as much paint. It might have made it a little bit easier if I could have spray painted this project, so I would recommend that if you do have the spray paint that you want to use. I didn't have any of the matte white finish, and I just really wanted that farmhouse matte look so I could sand it down and get it really rustic looking. And I know sometimes you can't achieve that look using the high gloss white spray paint. So after I got it all painted, and you can see it's not perfect, I missed a little bit of the edges, but that's okay because I am going to distress it a little bit anyways. Um, but I am just loving how it's looking already. And you don't have to distress this if you don't like that look, but I think it is so beautiful whenever I get the corners sanded off. And you can just tell such a huge difference before and after exposing like the natural wood color underneath. It was a little bit more difficult to get the top distressed looking and the corners and the little beads distressed beautifully, but the top just has a lot of thick paint on it. So I did try to take like the corner of my sandpaper and try to scratch places in it. And then after I got finished sanding it, I just wiped it down really good to make sure that I did get all of the excess dust on it. You can see that it's all over the table and all over my hands, but I wanted to make sure that whenever I am ready to decorate with this, that it didn't have any of that. But I wanted to show you all this little picture. This is what I was inspired by, these beautiful little platform pieces and I think using items from Dollar Tree this turned out so beautiful. I actually moved this on top of my stove and it looks gorgeous on there and I just love how it came together. I went ahead and put a few little fall things out. I'm just getting excited for the fall season coming. I think that this little platform piece will be such a fun decor piece to get to use through the fall, Halloween, and Christmas seasons. For this next project, I wanted to make like almost kind of like a cake stand looking piece, um, kind of like a tray stand, something that would hold a few tiny smaller pieces that I could put with a larger scenery. So for that, I am using this round mirror as well as another one of these candle holders. And then I'm using one of these little terracotta bottoms. I picked up a ton of these from Walmart last year. They were really inexpensive. They were under a dollar, maybe even cheaper than 50 cents. I don't think they are very expensive at all, but you definitely could opt for something that does come from Dollar Tree, such as a jar lid or anything circular. I wanted to paint all three of these items as well with the Waverly chalk paint, so I ended up removing the mirror from that little frame. It popped out super simple, so I was able to paint this without worrying about getting the paint on the mirror, and then I was able to paint the mirror, the candlestick, and the terracotta pot. Or the little bottom part of the pot. I'm not sure what that's called. Um, once again, you might try spray painting this. I just didn't have the matte spray paint, so I wanted to be able to distress this and it look really farmhouse. But these uh, three items were super simple to paint. It does get a little tricky on the candle holders because there are so many angles, so it's kind of annoying. Um, but after you get it painted, it is definitely worth it. I think it's just beautiful painting with chalk paint. After everything was dry, I'm just going to be replacing the mirror back in there. And it looks like it may have originally been glued in or tacked a little bit. So just to make sure that this doesn't shift around or move, I am going to apply a little bit of hot glue to the edges to make sure it all stays in place. And then I also replace the little backing and it just pops in there and it has little tabs that you can push the board. You can push the little cardboard piece under. And then I'm just going to be hot gluing all three of these pieces together. 
I would actually love your honest opinion. Do you like projects like this? Do you like using the glass and the hot glue and the E6000? Or are you over projects like this and you just want to move on to like more simpler, uh, maybe more like hand painting signs that I like to do on my channel? But let me know in the comments below. It totally won't hurt my feelings. I just really want to know uh, what kind of videos you all really like. And then in this photo, you can kind of see what I was going for. I think I achieved that look really good. Um, and this is something that I'll be able to change up the look of it. But as of right now, I just styled it with some beautiful little pieces. I They have these gorgeous little jar candles at Dollar Tree right now. And then that beautiful little house came from Cracker Barrel. I also think some little fairy lights would be beautiful put in this little tray so they would reflect off of the mirror. And for the next project, I wanted to make some large candle holders. I've been on the hunt for candle holders for the longest time, and I can't find any inexpensive ones. Every time I pick one up, it's like 15 bucks a piece, and I don't want to spend 30 to $40 on a set of nice candle holders. So I thought that there had to be a way to make these myself. I know that I personally have made candle holders, uh, gluing a couple of these together, but I've never really dressed them up really nice. Um, I made a set that had like photo holders, at the top that I really liked whenever I first started YouTube um, but I thought I wanted to make a farmhouse set that looked really pretty that I could decorate with some greenery and candles at the top for the first candlestick I'm gonna be using two glass candle holders and then a, a candle plate and then for the second taller stick I will be using three glass candle holders and then another candle plate so this will be a total of five glass candle holders for this project I do recommend mixing in some E6000 if you do want to make these for yourself. I know uh, hot glue does pop off of glass really easy, but I'm trying to make this uh, go quickly. So the first thing that I do for the first candle holder is just glue the two um, on opposite ends together, and then I'm going to glue the plate to the top. I did this by turning it upside down. It was just easier to find the center of the candle plate and then make sure it is pressed down really nicely. I will say for these just to be held together with hot glue, um, I did sand on them quite a bit and they did hold together really nicely, so I'm hoping that they do stay for a long time. I just repeated the same exact thing for the first one, glued those two together. But then on the next one, I glued the bottoms together so that it made it a little bit taller. And I actually like that little piece of the bottoms glued together in the middle. I think it gives it more of a decorative piece. And then I just attach the plate to the top. You do have to try to be careful and make sure the hot glue is getting applied evenly to, to make sure that these do stand straight up and not lean. So the next thing that I'm going to do that I think absolutely took these to the next level is just use my piece of sandpaper that I used earlier and actually just remove all the paint from all the edging and just make this look rustic and weathered and I just love it. Uh, the glass appears dark to be coming through. So I think these definitely appear way more farmhouse whenever you do do all of this distressing. So this is actually the photo that I was inspired by for this project and it's just these beautiful little antique candle holders. I love their little potted plants on the top of those and that's something that I'll definitely be doing in the spring. As of right now, I'm just adding uh, these little white Dollar Tree candles. I'm obsessed with these. Um, they actually have a ton of these out right now and also in different colors. And then also I'm going to be putting some little greenery that I picked up from Walmart on those little 97 cent stems. But I love, love, love how these come together. I styled it with my new little Our Family tree. I just did a video recently on my channel with that. But I think these are gorgeous and will be so fun to add to any like little entryway table or move these around or add pumpkins for this fall season. Thank you all so much 
much for joining me today. I had so much fun putting together these projects. I actually impressed myself. Whenever I first started, I was kind of like, oh no, another gluing the candlesticks project together again. And I did not want them to look cheap or junky or like that they would fall apart. And I just use hot glue on these projects for speeding up the video time, but I do recommend using some E6000 or something with a little stronger hold. If you're interested in signing up for Top Cash Back, remember the link is directly under this video in the description and you can click it, it'll take you to Top Cash Back, you can easily sign up and then start shopping online to earn back money. Thank you again to Top Cash Back for sponsoring today's video, I truly appreciate you supporting our family. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you did hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you next time. Leave a comment down below what you want to see next. I have fall items, so I'm going to be sharing some fall hauls, but let me know what kind of fall DIYs you want to see. And I'll see you next time. Bye!